Welcome back, friends. Irlet here with a Reddit relationship story from a guy seeking relationship advice about his long-term marriage that's going through one of the rockiest things a marriage possibly can. So he's 34 and his wife is 33. He says, we've been married for 12 years and together for 15. We have four children and have had many struggles with raising a large family, but nothing out of the ordinary. To make ends meet, I took a job out of town. I worked three weeks at a time and would be home for a week before leaving again. I did this for about a year. My wife was dealing with raising four kids and holding down a full-time career simultaneously and I knew it was a lot to put on her shoulders. I was just doing whatever I could to pay the bills so to speak. As the months went by, it was clearly weighing on her heavily. She asked me to come home frequently, and I told her I would love nothing more than to do so, but unless I found a job back home that would pay close to the same, I couldn't. Near the end of last year, it was clear that both of us were struggling with this. I felt intense loneliness and guilt for leaving my family for so long. She was also lonely, but started to feel disconnected from me. She was given an opportunity to work for four weeks in another state, as part of a training for a promotion. We were both excited about it. After that, she came home and things were back to normal, in quotation marks. It was about a month after that when I came home for a week that she told me she can't do this anymore and I needed to stay home. She said she couldn't bear me being gone again and we needed to fix our marriage. She basically said she didn't feel loved and that my refusal to stop working out of town was because I wanted to run away from her and the kids. She said that two close relatives of ours, who are also her friends, have been encouraging her to leave me because I didn't want her anymore and I would never change. Bro, this seems kind of messed up. I mean, perhaps there's more to this story that we're not getting from just what we've read here, but it seems to me like this guy really cares about his family. He's only leaving to work so that he can provide for them, and now somehow her and her friends are all piling on him and saying that he doesn't actually care about her. It seems like the reason he's doing this is because he cares about her. It seems pretty unfair at this point, but let's move on. He says, I agreed to stay and found a decent job back home. Things seemed better than they'd ever been. At least it seemed that way until I looked through her phone about a month later. Let me guess, she's using Snapchat. <laughs> I was looking for old text to see what our relatives had told her and found evidence that she had been cheating on me. I confronted her about it and she admitted that there was a co-worker when she was working out of town who she slept with the night before she left. He'd been hitting on her and complimenting her and helping her out at work. She told me she felt unloved and in a broken marriage and he made her feel like she wasn't worthless the way I did. Okay, so basically like usual, she goes out and does something to completely ruin their marriage. Then she wants to blame him and use his working out of town as an excuse for why she did what she did. Of course, she can't just admit what she did take responsibility for it and hold herself accountable. Instead, she wants to manipulate him and make him feel like he was responsible for why the relationship fell apart. He says, after she slept with him, I know she had some kind of crush on him for a few weeks to a month, but he didn't return any of her interest. That was when she told me that we have to fix our marriage. In the time between that and when I discovered the affair, we were really happy and it felt like we finally had the relationship of our dreams. So of course it made finding out about all of this way harder to deal with. Bro, I know of this kind of thing happening so often. Moronic women fall for some smooth talking guy who throws a couple of compliments their way. Then after he rejects them and lets them realize that this was just a fling, they wanna go running back to their good husband and act like nothing ever happened. So here's a little tip for any women out there who were in the same position as this woman prior to what she did. Learn how to fix your marriage problems and deal with the stresses of raising a family in today's times. Don't ignorantly fall for any slick talking guy who comes your way and throws you a few compliments. Have some respect for your husband, keep your legs closed, and don't allow yourself to be manipulated by some egomaniac who's just trying to get a piece and could care less about you, your future, or your life. It's like these types of women get so caught up in the idea that some guy wants them, they have such a need for attention that they don't even stop to think that maybe this guy's never going to speak to me again after I do this. And then maybe my husband isn't going to want to speak to me ever again when he finds out, nor will my kids because I'm a piece of trash. Is it really worth it? But anyway, he continues. He says, she told me she regretted it more than than anything in her life. Yeah, I bet. She was planning on taking the secret with her to the grave to protect me and her, and wanted to try harder than ever to prove to me she was devoted. I've been devastated, of course, but for a month now, she's really been proving that she means it. She's also willing to consent to having spyware on her phone if I want, so we'll always know each other's location. My question is, should I just forgive her? How am I supposed to feel about this? I know for a fact that she felt like I didn't want to be in a marriage with her, and she thought I cheated on her as well before it happened. Now that she knows how wrong she was, she feels guilty but wants to rebuild. I think that I do as well. I just want advice on how I should handle this situation. And then there's an edit down here that says, I want to clarify something about the affair. This was a co-worker at the location where she was while she was out of town. He doesn't work with her here at home. They didn't flirt or text about the relationship after she came back home. I understand that he was manipulating her and it worked. The crush she had was mostly my interpretation of how she felt. 
We were still apart from each other for the following three weeks, and I think she liked to think that it was more than just what it was, because she still thought we weren't going to make it, but she knew it was never going to be a relationship. Okay, my friend, let me just say that I get where you're coming from, and given the fact that you've been with this person pretty much your entire adult life, you now have four kids together in this entire life that you built, I'm kind of leaning in the direction you are, saying that it's probably not worth it to break up your whole family over this, but at the same time, what if he had been interested in her and wanted a relationship? What if he wanted to convince her to leave you for him? Would she have done it? We can't know for sure, but there's at least some possibility that she would have. The only reason that she's sticking it out now is because he rejected her. So I know it's your wife, but do you want to be the guy who's just picking up this guy's scraps after the fact? Also, you say that you knew for a fact that she thought you didn't want to be in a relationship with her. Well, how do you know this for sure? How do you know she wasn't just saying this as an excuse for what she did? Trying to make, like I already said, you feel like you were the problem in the relationship and you were the reason that things were falling apart when in reality, she was the one who wasn't being faithful to you or she wasn't completely committed to you. All you were doing was going out of town to work so you could take care of your family. So it sounds like she's manipulating you a bit here and it's working. However, I do understand that you don't want things to fall apart over this one fling that she had. And typically I would encourage people never to forgive a cheater because there's only gonna be continued resentment throughout the rest of the relationship most likely, especially since you didn't actually cheat. I don't know why she thought that, you didn't explain that, but the fact that you didn't cheat on her, but she did you, there's probably a good chance that you're always going to have this in the back of your head. It's going to cause more fights in the future. You're always going to have this tension between you because of this. For the rest of your life, you're going to be the guy whose wife ran out on him the minute things got a little bit rough. And who's to say that next time things get rough in the future, maybe when the kids are a little bit older and she runs into some other guy who smooth talks her, who's to say that she's not going to fall for him or do the same thing again or eventually leave you when she finds somebody who smooth talks her enough to make her leave? So can this woman really be trusted at this point? But if she's not the kind of wife who typically would do this thing and she really did just feel neglected, a lot of times there are women who can be really wrecked by feeling like they're not wanted by their husbands or having the weight of a failing relationship on their shoulders. It can make them do stupid things, as it can men. A lot of men and women, typically when they cheat, it's because they have this feeling that their relationship is over, even though it's not. It's not right to go cheat just because you feel like your marriage is failing and you're not getting the love or satisfaction that you need from your significant other. Obviously, the right thing to do is just work it out or wait till it's over before you move on, but unfortunately, women don't typically do this. They try to line up a new guy before the thing actually ends to make sure they don't have to spend any time being lonely. But although I personally don't think I would be able to move forward and move on from this, Probably what you should do is get some counseling to try to work through it. If you love her, you have this family you've been building for all this time. For the kid's sake, I can't believe I'm saying this, but this seems like a situation where maybe you probably should forgive her and move on. Try to find a way to work this out and get over it and move past it. I don't want to make excuses for this woman because what she did was despicable, but it really does sound like she possibly was under the impression the relationship was over and just did something stupid. Given that we don't really know all the details of what led up to her doing this, we can't really just write her off as being being an evil person. I mean, there's nothing that's going to really justify what she did, but at the same time, that doesn't necessarily mean that the whole family should be broken apart because she maybe is just a dumb person and did something that she'll never do again. From this guy's perspective, I mean, he might be just so manipulated that he doesn't realize how bad his wife really is. Maybe she is just a terrible person, but if he's not being completely manipulated and in his heart, he knows that partially he was to blame for pushing her away, not that I'm justifying what she did, but maybe he did give her a feeling that this relationship was completely over. So she said, whatever, I might as well do this. Based on what this guy's saying, this is a little more complex than just a typical selfish cheating situation. So if this guy really understands everything that led up to this, and he thinks with a clear mind that in some way what she did was just a mistake or something that can be forgiven, then perhaps he should forgive her. Maybe they would all be happier in the long run staying together. Leaving her just because she did this and you don't think you should stay with someone who would cheat is not necessarily always gonna lead to a happy life for any of them, especially the kids. So for the sake of the kids and the fact that you have all this history, I think perhaps maybe you should try to work it out. But that's all I have to say about this story. What do you all think about this situation? Should he forgive and forget? Is it once a cheater, always a cheater? Let us know in the comments. Click like and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you check out my main channel for other interesting life and relationship based videos. Till then, I hope you all take care of yourselves, support and be good to good women. Peace.